I'm saying that because white folks are not the only people who are able to get a critical mass of their race on the same page with them to carry out different objectives. Everyone is able to do it except Africans. We're not able to do it here. We're not able to do it in the Caribbean. We're not able to do it in Asia or on the continent. And the reason why that is, Brother Gus, is because no other race of people have been subjected to the type of psychological trauma that black people have been subjected to and from which they have never recovered. Stated another way, black people have been psychologically engineered to work against their own best interests. I'm going to say this again, Brother Gus, and I want your listeners to zero in on this. This is key. This is the one thing that has happened to you that has never happened to anyone else, even other enslaved people. We are the only population in world history that has been psychologically engineered to work against their own best interests. Marcus Garvey, who was a forerunner to Mao Zedong, who was a forerunner to Ho Chi Minh, who liberated Vietnam, and as in, in fact, claims himself to used to visit Marcus Garvey and sit at the back of UNIA meetings to take lessons, strategies, and ideas from Marcus Garvey to liberate his people. Hitler and Mussolini, although they were racial supremacists and Mr. Garvey was not, studied Garvey. In fact, Mr. Garvey sent a telegram to Mussolini stating, you copied my program and used it for white supremacy. So how is it that all of these leaders of Vietnam, of China, of Italy, of Germany, even the leader of Afghanistan, Brother Gus, who led Afghanistan to freedom. If anybody wonders why Afghan the Afghanistan flag has red, black, and green on it, it's because the leader of the revolution of Afghanistan studied Marcus Garvey. They all did. So how could these Europeans take Garveyism and use it for the benefit of white supremacy or Chinese ascendancy? And yet we failed to use Mr. Garvey's work to liberate ourselves. It's because although all of those leaders suffered opposition, all of them suffered opposition, the truth of the matter is, Brother Gus, is that none of the people in those countries, even those who opposed the leadership, were never psychologically engineered to work against their own best interests. And we got to understand that. The one psychological lesson I need everybody to grasp, and the minute you see a black person doing something, they ain't got no business doing, tell yourself that slavery, post-traumatic slavery disorder, racial inferiority disease, we have been socially engineered, and we got to teach our children. When your son says, Daddy, why is that black man married to a white woman? Daddy, why is that black man sleeping with another black man? Daddy, why does that sister have blonde hair? Why does she have green eyes? Why is she dating that non-African man? When they say, Mommy, why don't we own any institution? Mommy, why I don't learn African languages in school? Grandpa, why we don't have our own schools so we don't have to get mistreated by white teachers in the public schools? When they ask you these questions, we have one collective answer. Daughter, son, grandchild, mentee, boy scout, girl scout, princess, prince, our people. Unlike any other people on earth now or in world history in the past, have been psychologically engineered to work our own best interest and that's why everybody including Lenin and Stalin could take Marcus Garvey's work and liberate entire countries but Mr. Garvey despite his unequal success doesn't close to what those Europeans did because he was working with a mentally ill population.